you 30. Here we go with another face off. Good diamond. Again, Brian, Brian. Take no prisoners. You're taking no prisoners? Well, if you do, frisk them. Oh, we're still better looking than them. You are better looking. Here we go. We won't argue that point. <laughs> the top five answers are on the board. The question. Name a part of the body for which people do special exercises. Godiva. Stomach. She says the stomach. Number one. Think of a steal. Here come the glow women. Justice. Name a part of the body for which people do special exercises. The legs. Let me see the legs. Is there? Check. I know. Okay. The thighs. The, yeah. Show me no, the thighs. Nothing. Seventy-three dollars in the bank. Hollywood, stop tapping. Let's oh, concentrate. I'll I, do this for you. Part of the body for which people do special exercises. Their bust, their chest. <laughs> you know. How do you do that? You know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Can I see it real quickly? What is that exercise? How is it that I do it? I can tell you perfected it. All right. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> the bust. It's there. Mountain Fiji, a part of the body for which people do special exercise. The gluteus maximus. Yeah. The, the gluteus maximus. The butt. I'll translate that. But. All right. Show me the gluteus maximus. The bottom. Godiva, how appropriate. You can bring home in this bank and a big lead for the glow women if you I've name a part two. of the body for which people. You've got what? I've got two. Yes, you do. But if you could just answer this question. <laughs> We can always edit, I'll tell you, but you can't pass a line like that up. Shame on, <laughs> Shame on me. Here we go. A part of the body, I'm glad I'm wearing makeup because I am red. A part of the body for which people do special exercises. Arms. Let me see the arms. No. That's two strikes. All right, oh, Justice, God, yeah. you, can get, you can get the bank. A part of the body for which people do special exercises. Calves. Yes. She says, yes. for the bank, calves. Gentlemen, they're going to keep the bank unless you name a part of the body for which people do special exercises. Jim, back, back, back. Okay. shoulders, back. shoulders, voice. Z man says voice. Morton or neck, back. 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 back, back or neck. Back. We've got eighty-five dollars up for grabs. Back. back. Sting says he's going to steal that bank with the back. Uh, it's not there. <laughs> the gorgeous ladies of wrestling take the bank. Part of the body. You think it's neck? Show me number two. Hip. Not said. $140 for the Glow Women, the WCW 30. Here we go. It's a man of the favor. And the women are coming alive. The dollar value doubled. And the top four answers are on the board. Think carefully about this question. Name something that happened in the nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill. Candyman. Went up the hill. They went up the hill. Is number two. Number one gives you control, Justice. I mean, something that happened in the nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill. Carried a pail of water. They went to carry a pail of water. It's number three. Think of a steal. The men have control. Here we go, Jim. Name something that happened in the nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill. Are you training for the big fight? I'm going to try to get ready for it. Saturday night, October 27th, Chicago. <laughs> Halloween Havoc. There's your shirt. Okay, yeah. I'll be ready, Jack. I will be there, and I will wear this shirt. I've got more shirts. I'm going to be in shape. But now we're getting back to something very serious, Jim. The nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill. Name something specific that happened in that nursery rhyme. Well, oh, Jack fell down. All right, yeah. show me. Jack yeah. fell down. <laughs> Number one. Jack fell down. Takes the bank to $190 and sting. Something that happened in the nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill. Jill came tumbling after. She came tumbling after yeah. him. Uh, that is one strike. What are you going to say, Z-Man? Yeah, he broke his crown or something? He, all right. For the bank, did he break his crown? You've got that bank. $230 for the WCW. $140 for the low women. Here we go. It's another face-off right now. Jackie Stallone against Jim. Who will triple the dollar down? Jack and Jill. Oh, Whoever takes this question all the way out should win the game. The top four answers are on the board. We ask 100 people this question. Either hand you want there, Jackie. As long as you slap it with any body part before you. <laughs> Here we go. If you're in an auto accident, name a piece of information 
you should demand from the other driver. Jim? Identification. Let me see. You should demand identification. Yeah, yeah. What kind? He needs a specific answer, Jim. Driver's license. Let me see a driver's license. Good. It's number two. One answer, more his insurance. She says his insurance. Show it to me. Number one. Think of a steel, man. Here come the women. Hollywood, bring it home. On, You've got on. the men on their knees. No, if you're, oh, no. If you're in an auto accident, name a piece of information you should demand from the other driver. If they're hurt, I don't... You should demand if they are hurt. I don't know. Sorry. That's okay. One strike. I don't get an accident. That's all right. Mountain Fiji? Social Security. You want to know their Social Security <laughs> number? <laughs> WCW, you will get a chance to win this game if Godiva doesn't know. If you're in an auto accident, name a piece of information you should demand from the other driver. Their phone number. Yes. You should demand? Their phone number. Still alive! You come on, come on, game. If you give me number three, what, 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 if you're in an auto accident, name a piece of information you should demand from the other driver for the game. What do you say? <laughs> Quickly. Registration. She says for the game, registration <laughs> is not there. WCW, Jim, help it out. If you're in an auto accident, name a piece of information you should demand from the other driver. Their name. Their name? It sounds and good in their name. Place address. Address. address their name. Sting, if you fail to give me number three, police report. the Glow Women are playing for $10,000. What do you say? Three seconds. Sting, Three seconds, Sting. Please. For you, Hollywood, name. Their name. Their name. WCW their name. have stolen this game if number three is their name. of the WCW men in the Starlight Foundation. As we put 15 seconds on the clock, we wish good luck to the Candyman. We ask 100 people, based on what you heard or believe, what do you think you'd find in heaven? Jesus. How many days a week do you read your horoscope? Never. A fabric used to make jackets? Wool. A month of baseball season? Uh, May. Something specific that kids take to school? Lunchbox. Turn around here. Let's see what you think, Candyman. Based on what you heard or believed, what do you think you'd find in heaven? You said, Jesus. Our survey said, three. How many days a week do you read your horoscope? You said, you read it never. Our survey said, 30. It's good. Did not read your horoscope in our survey. A fabric used to make jackets you selected, wool. What did the survey say? Twenty-three. A month of the baseball season, you said? May. Survey said? Nineteen. Something specific that kids take to school. You selected? Lunch boxes and our survey said? Thirty. You're over a hundred, Candyman. Back to the teammates. Here comes Jim Ross.